we're going to hear from Brandon Williams with Like a Son to George. It's a very emotional day for me, and I don't really have the words. I'm overwhelmed with joy. But I do want to start by saying thank you. Uh, first off, thank you to all you guys um, advocating, protesting in the middle of a pandemic, putting your lives and safety on the line. We appreciate that, um, especially to our legal team, Ben, Tony, Justin, um, Chris, Justin back here. Um, definitely, definitely thank you to Keith Edison and his team. I think they did an amazing job from start to finish. Um, all of the evidence, all of the witnesses, everything proved exactly what we saw in that video. But yet, we still question the decision of the jury, and I wonder why. Oftentimes, this system fails us as black men and women in America. Mm -hmm. With all evidence there, everything pointing to a guilty verdict, we somehow still don't get the guilty verdict. Mm -hmm. Or in some cases, I got my good friend Kenny Walker back here. Yeah. We don't even get charges. Yeah, right. Right. So today is a pivotal moment um, for America. It, it's something this country has needed for a long time now. Yes. And hopefully today is the start of that. When I say a pivotal moment, we need change in this broken system. Mm -hmm. It was built to oppress us. Mm -hmm. It was built against us. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we see people who are supposed to, supposed to protect and serve. Mm. Supposed to protect and serve. They, they do the total opposite. On the first day of trial, Rev. Sharpton, we had a press conference. And we kneel for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Mm -hmm. And when I got up and it was my turn to speak, I said that every time I come out here, it's hard. Because mm -hmm. this is the exact place where they took somebody from me that I love. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely dislike coming here. But I also said this time it was easy. Mm -hmm. We came for one thing and one thing only. That was justice for George Floyd. Yeah. And today, that's what yeah. we got. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this time, it wasn't hard at all. It wasn't hard at all. I'm big on faith and prayer. Yes, I had a lot of faith. But I was also optimistic. We need police reform bad. Yeah. These guys are able to wear a badge and go out in the field, which means that they're qualified and trained to do their job at a high level. But when you shoot and kill a man that's running away from you that doesn't pose a threat, mm. Mm. either Mama. you're not qualified and undertrained, or it's a choice and you want to kill black men and women. Yeah. It's either one or the other. Yeah. And I think today, Keith Ellison and his team proved that just because you are the law, you're not above the law. Yeah. We need each and every officer to be held accountable. And until then, it's still scary to be a black man or woman in America and count in police. Yeah. So when I say today is a pivotal moment, it's a chance for America to take a turn in the right direction and right a lot of wrongs so that we don't keep adding to these names. So that little girls and boys like Gianna are not growing up fatherless. Yes, sir. So that families don't feel the pain we feel. It's a lot of sleepless nights. No family should go through that. And hopefully our country take a turn in the right direction today. And this, this day in history proves that it was a turn in